In this video, I'm going to talk about the Camp Corsa Nanotech Ice Axe. This Ice Axe is what went with me on my Greenland expedition. I brought this little bad boy, which is ultralight, to help us in our expedition across Greenland. Now, the reason I chose this Ice Axe, the Camp Corsa Nanotech, links below in the description, of course, over my Black Diamond Venom Ice Axe, which is the hardened tip head, or my ultralight longer Raven Ice Axe, is simply weight. This Ice Axe is crazy, crazy light. How light? Let me weigh it and I will show you. I'm going to weigh it on my handy dandy scale here. One moment. All right, so make sure it doesn't fall down. Hold. And for my Grams friends, the Camp Corsa Ice Axe is 276 grams or a mere 9.7 ounces. Now, the reason I brought this over a standard Camp Ice Axe, the standard Camp Ice Axe has this, uh, uh, I don't know what, like kind of burnished sort of steel, but it has the ultra hard and strong steel tip here compared to the regular Camp Ice Axe, which does not. This guy is crazy sharp and ultra hard and meant for actually picking in hard ice. The regular Camp Ice Axe is not meant for that. The regular Ice Axe, Camp Ice Axe, I've seen people on Denali with a regular Camp Ice Axe, which is no problem, but if you need to pick into really, really hard ice, the Nanotech is the one you want. The regular Camp Ice Axe will start to take a beating. That's only meant for glacier travel, snow, just emergency use. This thing actually can take a real, real beating. Now you can see here, when I'm in the arrest position, it's super short, but it gets a job done where I can still turn, bury my face into the snow, get this ice axe stopped, so it really holds pretty nice. At the bottom here, it actually has a hardened steel point instead of just a regular tubular shaft. They put this hardened steel on here. That way, if I need to punch this into ice, because the reason we brought this ice axe to Greenland, where it's on my expedition, two friends and a polar bear, Dr. Terry Williams and I, is a link below to that book, is if we needed an ice axe, if we both fell in a crevasse, or either of us fell in a crevasse, needed to be able to punch that ice axe in, create a Z-drag pulley system, and get ourselves out of a crevasse, because we were in the middle of Greenland. So there is that possibility. Plus, if we ran into some real problems, this would be pretty handy. Now, just to compare that weight, we'll just use the grams because it's easier to remember. 276 grams for this bad boy versus my Black Diamond Venom. Let me turn that on, give you weight, just to show you the difference here. All right, one moment. Yeah, and that, that's what I really love about this Ice Axe is it's so light, I literally carry it on anything that I'm in snow just because it's light. Whoo! Check this out. Just for comparison, my Black Diamond Venom is over twice the weight, 584 grams, or a pound four, six ounces. And that, that's the reason, like, when I carry it and go climbing, yeah, on a Denali or something, okay, yeah, I've got this bad boy. But man, it is heavy. It's got that nice replaceable head, so I can change it for a different style, but that's an issue. And I used to think my Black Diamond Raven, the 65 millimeters, was light. <laughs> I'll show you how light that is not either. Now granted, the Black Diamond Ice Axe is way longer. I mean, check that out. I got a back up in the frame just to show you it. And it's more beef. I think it take, can take a little bit more abuse. It's got more substantial, but the steel on here, man, I've used this on Denali like three times. No problem. I've used this guy in Denali once. No problem. Loved it. The Raven Pro is 464 grams versus 276 grams or one pound pretty much on the spot. So that's why I purchased the Camp Norton. <laughs> Camp Corsa Nanotech Ice Axe. Because of that, it's just so crazy light. Just put it into the backpack and not even really think about it. And if I need it, I've got an Ice Axe. So anytime I'm climbing in the Rockies and Alaska, 
in Greenland or whatever, this little guy always is with me. And then like in Denali, I'll take at least one of these guys, if not two, just usually two, because when I go up the head wall above Camp 14, sometimes you need two ice axes. It kind of sucks. It's just the way it works. So can't recommend enough the Camp Nanotech Corsa links below. It is expensive. You're like, wow, it's a super light ice axe. But boy, this extra point versus the standard point, trust me, spend the money, buy an ice axe that can just beat on ice all day and not have a problem without getting kind of worked over. My name is Aaron Lindstow. I'm a polar explorer, professional adventurer. Please check out links below in the description. Like, comment, and subscribe to the channel so you can get more fun info on ice axes.